Now then, we've got a laptop here and uh, I've been having a little bit of trouble with spelling recently and it's because of the keyboard on this laptop. Certain um, letters and numbers you have to work really hard at getting them to work and it's getting worse and it's a Toshiba so we have a new keyboard now I've watched a couple of videos on YouTube on how to change these keyboards and they're all a bit sort of a bit nasty or um, uh, they don't give you the full info so I thought okay what we need is the new keyboard and then we can see exactly where the fittings are assuming that the new one has got the little clips in the same place as the old one which may not be the case but the keyboard comes out the top so we don't have to dismantle the whole of the uh, the laptop to get to it which is a saving grace so let's crack on let's open this box first and uh, then let's see if we can get the keyboard out I was given this laptop oh, a year, year and a half ago it had no hard drive in it and it had no RAM well I went to my box of miscellaneous RAM and found some so it's got 8 gigs of RAM in this and then um, I put a mechanical hard drive in it but then I was down the scrapyard, oh, I don't know, eight or nine months ago. And one of these big roll-off, roll-on sort of containers from the local municipal tip came into the scrapyard. And when they push all the, the scrap out, it comes out a bit like a cube. About, I don't know, eight or nine foot square, but quite long. Anyway, it's just happened, so I just walked down the side of this thing and pulled out this frame of a um, slimline desktop computer. The top was missing, but I could see there was um, a solid state drive in it. So I had that, and that solid state drive, with now with Linux Mint, is in this, and it works wonderfully. So there you go, so this is quite a nice, it's quad core, yeah, um, and enough RAM and a, a, a solid state drive in it, so it's great, but now it's the keyboard that's letting it down. Anyway, that's the back story, let's just crack on. Okay, so... one keyboard okay so it is taped down let me see what's going on just about I'll just release these yeah we don't want to go bending this around very much but there we are that's the keyboard There we go. Now it's interesting, there's loads of little holes here. So, and that little boss there reminds me that there's one screw from underneath. Okay, and this goes that way. So we'll put this back on that cardboard. and there and it says KB and the screws missing anyway all right so the next thing to do obviously when we're messing around with these sorts of things
is to try and get the battery out. There we go. Got it right in the end. So that's the battery out. There we go. Now I've got these plastic levery things. And they came with um, that little set of um, screwdrivers for taking mobile phones apart. So this, again, this just looks all a bit aggressive. But there are clips along here, so let's just put that in. Well, that wasn't very good, was it? So this is not pre-prepared. There we go, that's lifted that up. I wonder if... That's probably a little bit easier. very gently because it's got greater rigidity in that Stanley knife blade for undoing stuff for unclipping stuff Seeing those holes on the underside gives me an idea that although I've bought a new keyboard it might very well be um, bits of dust in the back of this keyboard that's preventing it from working. It's a bit aggressive levering it out like that. You see this one doesn't have the holes in the back. So we'll flip that over. Now, interesting. Let's just zoom down on this. There. There's bits of muck in there. I need to blow that out. Yep. I need to get the airline or vacuum cleaner on there and just suck that muck out. So the next thing to do is to just lift this, lift this up gently and that releases this ribbon. But I think it may be possible to have this keyboard apart and clean the muck out. 
between these layers. Yeah, it might very well be possible to do that. But never mind, I'm going to just clean, let me zoom out a bit, I'm just going to clean this area with the vacuum first and then I'll get back to you. Right, that's cleaned out and I just wanted to show you that these little flat tabs here, they're only just sticking out. Those are the things that hold the keyboard in place. So there you go. Right, now, the new keyboard. And it's got the little flat tabs on it again. So, we have to put this in there and that should be that and you're going to make sure that this ribbon is well in there nice and square and push it all the way in before you drop this or just pull this clip down if you don't put it all the way in when you put it all back together the keyboard won't work so you've got to get a good contact you see how that is square with the retaining bar okay and then we should better just drop the keyboard back in but before I do that well, there's a series of tabs along the front here, which we can just, hopefully, just push in place. Perhaps we go like that, at an angle like that. There we go. seems like it. Okay, it's a black keyboard on a white computer. What a shame. Are we still recording? Yes we are. Let's put the um, battery back in and I think we'll zoom out a bit and then we'll Switch her on. Now let's just move the um, move that round like that. Tip that down like that. Okay, let's just go down to down here and we'll go into office and then we'll go into writer okay now the tripod's sort of in the way but eight was a problem over here so eight was a problem and R was a problem yeah brilliant caps lock R C was a problem caps lock C yeah brilliant okay as you can see we now have a keyboard that works so let's just get out of here so there you go one laptop keyboard changed 
I think that keyboard was £12 or something like that. But it's, um, it's changed the laptop from something that was really quite frustrating to use to there you go. And with this one, I'm going to see if I can take that apart at some point. Because when I first got this, it was a bit odd, the keyboard, and I blew, uh, used an airline and blew all the way through all this lot. And um, I got cat hairs and stuff out. Now that I've fixed this other one, I can try and have those apart and um, without fear of um, messing it up because it really doesn't matter. Right, so there you go. I've got confidence with that laptop now, yeah, and I can use it um, for teaching because it's got a HDMI port on the side, which uh, a lot of these places now they they've got um, screens on the walls, and you can link your laptop up to it, and you can show your photos and all that sort of thing. Yeah, gone are the days of acetates and uh, over overhead projectors. Anyway, if you find this interesting. Please just let me know that you find this interesting in the various ways that you can do through YouTube, including comments, but that ticky thing as well. Yeah, and um, and if perchance a, a video um, does you a great favour, then and fixes something that otherwise you'd have to spend a fortune uh, replacing, then just consider going down in the bottom in the description, clicking on my name and looking at PayPal and, and Patreon and all those sort of things. And um, anyway, catch up with you soon. Cheers for now.